All right, I just did a, it's a video called uh, Biblical Prophecy Isn't Based Off Your Feelings. All right, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into these motherfucking black kings and black queens, all right, to just hammer this shit out. Period. Who is Esau? Esau became the church. Is the church black or white? We know bloodlines don't change fucking color like that. Unless it's dealing with leprosy. There is no act of leprosy. Late in the game, what you have is over overthrow. Usurpation. Now, we just learned about King George the Third. Okay, whether they use that picture, the light-skinned picture, whether they use this dark-skinned picture, it don't matter. We say, show me King George III, and this is what they show us. Right? No, how this motherfucker looks just like, hmm? Right? So you deal with King George. Right? Always the image of a young man. And you deal with fucking George Washington. Look, looks the fucking same. Right? Look at this one. Right? Some people say George Washington is the son of King George. Right? Then you say, show me an image of King George the Third, unaltered. Unaltered. Now, we're using logical reasonable words here all right yet they still keep coming back to this image of caucus uh, let's say 1770 again unaltered image 1770 king george they keep showing me what we're told to call them white people, right? Alright, so when we say King George, and use a simple term, black. This is what pops up. Alright. Is this King George the Third? Remember his wife, Queen Charlotte, is known to be a mulatto or mixed race, as we would say now. Some say this is one of the true authentic portraits of King George the Third, and this is what Egypt Search forums. All right, so that's somebody's forum. All right. So we see that here we have the other image, uh, Charlotte below, and wife of King George III. So some say this is the image of King George III. Now we have these two contrasting images. Which is right, which is wrong. So, if we type in ancient black royalty coins, remember the term black is a term that is used here. It is a denotion of status. Has nothing to do with your skin color. They have tricked you into publicly decreeing, decreeing. I say I am. They've tricked you into publicly decreeing that your status is black, meaning you are black, bald, painted over, marginalized. When they promise you things, 
and don't fulfill those promises, it's because you have agreed that you are not equal. The term black means you are not equal. I'm going to show you. Now, when I say show me ancient black coins and all that shit, right? Now you have one Greek, probably mm, Greek or Muslim. You have another Greek, you have another Greek, another Greek, another Greek, most likely a Greek. So if I say show me black ancient people on coins, show me a bunch of fucking Greeks. You want to know why? Because Greek built up their society. And then they were overthrown and enslaved. And when they were enslaved, they they had the people who enslaved them, lived on top of them, right? And fucked through them. Both the, the new descendants and the Greeks in that situation were classified as blacks. So if I say ancient black royalty coins, they show me An African head on a Greek coin. And they show me Greeks. Now, watch the word play. African nobility of, of coins. And now, all I get is African images. Even when I get the Greek image, it's the Greek African. And the Greek African. Now you see what's happened? If you had a coin that circulated in Greece, you classified as an African. By the white people leper people from the Horn of Africa that cannot tolerate the heat anymore. No. Here's your African presence. In early Europe, you have your King James. I bring us Bible. Right? That is black King James. Ah, that is African King James. This is, this is Saint Albany. Look, I got the finger right up the nose. Let me pick that for you, buddy. Look how you fucked us over, buddy. Right? Jews ruled Europe. No. Edom ruled Europe. Remember, Holy Roman Catholic Empire, Rome, is Edom. When Rome is the Church of Europe, that's his people. Black Europe is the wild boar Edom. So, you know, if you click on any of these, again, when you clicked on it, see it said real history, www. Dot, you know, so here we have Elector Frederick the Third. Of Saxony. I gotta take. Oh man, so fucking uh, foods all poisoned and shit. My family's asking me if I want something to eat. Mm. Fuck that, dude. We eat these sunflowers, with kernels, and pistachio nuts, and have smelly farts and call it quits. I, I don't want to eat more of this junk in this society, dude. This is just disgusting what they do. Fucking disgusting. Uh, sorry, I'm sidetracked by that. My thoughts are dealing with do you want something to eat? Anyway. So, we have uh, Frederick. The third, Elector Frederick the Third, the Wise of Saxony. 
when you start to understand what's going on, now uh, remember I told you, look at how these ten tribes that come out have these names and they are pretending to be these people. And on the side it said, I think it said that the uh, one of the tribes were Saxton, or they said, said uh, England was Saxton. And I said, absolutely not. I said, it's not true. Because I had seen these before. So, Saxton is also a people that were overthrown and replaced by what we call today Caucasians. But here's the problem. If the Bible says there are ten tribes from Japheth that mingles with Rome, who's the eleventh tribe? That comes from this is the people that say they came out of the primordial ooze. Now, once these guys all start to group together and mingle, then you start to have the intermixing of the primordial ooze with some of the tribes that mingle with Neanderthal and some of the tribes that mingle with fucking monkey. Now, not everybody in those groups mingle together because remember, a lot of those groups, when the mingling would most likely have started, were sent in dispersion in different areas. One, one group of... Uh, Prisoners is sent to Australia. Another one is sent to America. Alright, so if we start looking through these, we'll find a lot of information about uh, who each of them are. Again, the African nobility of coins brings you to a much uh, clearer understanding because you're being labeled African throughout history. It's only here in the Americas. Uh, under the oppression, you're labeled black. Now, if you look through some of these real quick, again, if you start tracking some of these, you're going to find big secrets. All right? And you're going to understand what happened to the people of Edom. All right. Now, if you look at this, you see it says Christian, right? I O Han. I O Han. Right? Who is I O Han? Now, look at the shapes of the, the, the heads, right? On one end, they look like George Jefferson, kind of. But on the other end, they kind of look like they have giant fucking heads. Now, remember, this is the Christos bullshit, the Christian Iohan. And this is the big head fuckers they drew on coins and, and passed them back and forth. All right. So, Haiti, Rex, 1820. You see this brother? He's in control of Haiti. He's got a Roman reef. Remember, fucking, the Haitian comes over here, and right? While Europeans are fucking killing our people, enslaving our people, you got the fucking Moors, the black Moors. And, again, you can simply type in Moors, and the first thing you're going to see is a white man with a fucking koofy hat type shit, right? So there's black Moors and they're white Moors. So stop that. It's a bloodline bullshit. Moors come out of Wales. Obviously, after they overthrow the black Welsh and take their land. From the last video. This is Henry Cus. De Gratti Haiti. Henricus de Gratti Haiti. Rex King. Do you see that motherfucker with a Roman wreath? Do you see the Roman shoulders of the military? Come on. That, and that's just in 1820. There's a fucking king, a black king, right? A black Roman king in Haiti in 1820. Is that. Getting through your fucking skull. I thought Columbus went there and fucked people over. They're fucking Romans. Well, they were the Romans.
they were a branch of Rome. Not all of Rome it was a branch, an olive branch. Look at the curls of his hair. They hide this shit from you. They don't want you to know this or understand any of this. Look at this shit. Sasaian, uh, Sa Sasaian, king of what? It's cut off. Oh, it's not written under there either. But, but when you start to ash, oh, Ardashir, Ardashir, right? Look at this name, right? 625 of the best black positive images. Black African, right? The, the double negative, right? African, this would be Edom. Edom, nobility, edux, nobility of ancient Rome. Holy Roman Emperor, King Leopold III. The Roman Emperor. Dressed like what? A knight. Didn't I just say in the last video a knight would sit on the fucking throne? Lancelot. Lancelot Leopold. Psh, seems to be right in itself. Oh, I can't read that, but I can read this. Archduchess, uh, Archduchess of Austria. Duke, 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 Duke of World, Duke, Duke. Come on, man, that's a black woman. Infanta of Castile and Argon, Princess of Burgundy, right? Remember, these white people are supposed to be from Burgundy, right? No, they overthrew Burgundy first. Why? Because they, they had a woman queen. Look at this. Ferdinand and his son, Maximilian. He wanted to make sure everybody knew they was niggas. And they put him on a coin, Rex, Kings, 1563. Maximilian. We're used to seeing white people named Max. Having no idea, it's really a black name. Ugg took the name Maximilian. Frederick, my grandfather's name is Frederick. We would think this is a white name. It is an Edom name. Now you see, we have part of Edom with us, and we just don't even know it. The whole time, African head on a Greek coin, image of a black in Western art research programs, so, yeah, whatever. Francis II of France and Mary Stuart, the black nobility of ancient and medieval Europe. <sighs> Finally, these are the black French people, not the white Frank Einstein tribe from Barbaria. Gone in the barbarian! And Ugg, his trusted sidekick, overthrew these great people. Black Germany, African boy in Italy. I thought it was supposed to be Germany, but this is an Italian image. <laughs> Who would know? Right? Obviously, if the Holy Roman Church is up in Germany, then the Italians would be black, like the Black Emperor. So, you know, as we go down these again, okay, so again, this is a Roman bust. This is nigga hair. That was a nigga's face, and they busted the nose, so you would know niggas were Romans. But not the type of nigga you would think. You know, those goofy-ass black Edomites without any fucking rhythm. You see them dancing every fucking year in those fucking carnival festivals. 
everybody looks at Edom and says, I want a fucking peace. Right? Freemasonry portrait of Adolf Ludwig of Gustav Frederick Albert Baldwin. That's a long fucking name. Otherwise known as Baldwin. He's playing chess in 1775. Originally of the Persian court. So what are fucking white Persians? Fucking barbarians. You're going to find out the whole fucking world was melanated until these barbarians did what they did separately and had to come together. And when they came together, they formed a king and the king put these 21 into 10. So I read this somewhere. I read this in the fucking... In the, in the motherfucking Indian Chronicle from India, right? And that video is still on this channel. He put the 20, formed the 21 into 10, and they fucking marched. When they did it on India, they were drowned out in the Indus River. This army rebuilds over a thousand years and fucking does it again. And this time, Instead of hitting the Israelites at their capital, they hit their brothers, the Edomites, in their fucking capital cities. Spread out over Europe. We have covered every fucking inch of this information. It's just not in one long eight hour video. It's all right there. Black Persians, white Persians. White Persians obviously got kicked out of fucking Persia by the black Persians. And the white Persians became fucking white Greece. And the white Grecians fucking kicked the black Persians out. Herodotus. <laughs> and it's a systematic push your neighbor out of his land. So, look. Moving on, yeah, nobilities and coin, there's plenty of these to chase, plenty, 280 of the best nobility of Africa, and this is, has to do with medieval Europe images, right, right, so this is getting more and more interesting by the second, too bad it's only fucking Thursday, right, it's Thursday, yeah, I still got a whole day of work to do, look at this guy, right, King, uh, kings of Hungary, Holy Roman Empire, Charles the Fourth, and when this will be Ven Venceslas or something like that. Nope, it's a Leopold. Look at that. It don't matter what the fuck they write in here on the coin. It's it's fucking Leopold. Now we just saw Leopold over here from the fucking side view. Bam. I mean, from the, from the portrait. And here's the side view. Same motherfucker. Same fucking person. Is he wearing a wig? See the reef? That, that's, that's not a quote-unquote white image. He's either wearing a wig or he kept doing shit with his hair. Right? The lion's mane. <sighs> All right, here you have Wilfred, Wilfred, okay, uh, Frieded, Iat, uh, Will, it, Will it free, Wilfred, I'm not sure, Philip. Oh, fuck. It's right there. Phil. Digio. Digioi. Ioi. Ioi. Digioi, Phil. Whatever. Still, brother. 1625. Eat him. Your ass is over here living like fucking Indians. You're following the fucking food source. You're not claiming land. You're moving as a pack. If it's too cold here, you're going down south. 
If it's too cold there, you're going, you're, you know, you're moving. You migrated through the lands. Some people set up cities. Some people set up shops. And the rest of us, we constantly moved around if we weren't part of those things. And, and, and you cleaned every day. All they write about is how you fucking, you came outside and fucking cleaned every fucking day. Africans who conquered Rome. <laughs> Septinius Servus Ser Severus, the African Emperor of Rome. Okay, so if Africans are emperors of Rome, then Africans didn't conquer Rome. And obviously they're telling you this is Edom. Edom is in control of Rome. Edom is Rome from Edom's own fucking words. All right. So again, we have a European view, view of this because they're trying to hide the truth from you. All right. And so what is this? This is your Arab influence, right? You have your fucking Roman hat, right? So this is when somebody intermingled with an Arabian and produced the light-skinned Arab Negro. Right? <clears throat> Oh, uh, this is, uh, it's not Fayum, and this is Fayum, so this is somebody called Fayum. Mm, there's no file on it, it's just images collected, but no writings on them. They won't, they won't attribute what they did or who they are. Black Mediterranean history, okay? So it's dealing with corns and pottery. Alright, so look, you can do, anybody can do this. Right here is fucking Carlos, right? Oh, where'd it go? Come on, Carlos, come on up. Now, you know who Carlos is? Carlos Quinto? You guys don't know who that is? It's King Charles' son. Right? Right there. Aztec Kings list. When they came in and overthrew them. Now you got what? Roman shit being put on an Aztec king's list. I don't know why this says say Omec. I don't know if this site is going to show you the whole list. I know WW history show you the whole list. Nah, this shit ain't going to show you shit. I ain't keep staying on that shit. I'm going to keep moving. All right, so here they show you African woman, African no nobility of ancient Europe. This is an Edomite woman. This is the image of Edom, all right? Look at how rich they are. They have a fucking gold clock. You understand how delicate a fucking timepiece this is. And she's got it. We got fucking snow globes and shit, you know? Like, like this is like having a fucking cell phone back in, in the fucking 16, 17, 1800s. This is having the high-end cell phone. That's fucking... That image is depicting pure gold. You see the pure gold coin right there. Look at that and look how well the artist was able to capture the colored gold. Now think about that shit. This ain't just, oh, some niggeress or any bullshit like this. This is one rich woman, very wealthy, to have a gold clock and be getting a picture, to an experience. Expensive picture taken with her holding the fucking clock. And look at the smirk on her face. Like, mm. Yeah, it is mine. I am the I am one of the richest. Right? Now what does it say? Ignatius Sanchos was a composer, actor, and writer. So they keep saying this is fucking now he's a Freemason, you see his goddamn hand in his jacket. Now nah, Freemason leave them done. Bent, Freemason leave, bent their ass over and fucked them. Now nah, do you get it? The fucking Haitians are Romans. They're fucking Freemasons. The fucking Edoms are Romans. Uh, 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 they're fucking Freemasons. The Moors are fucking Freemasons. Now, the fucking the European f fucking uh, 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 people that came out of the 
out of the woodwork, out of the forest, and overthrew Europe. When they overthrew Europe, guess what they got? They got Freemasonry. And all the fucking hand symbols those little faggots do all the time to show you they're trying to communicate with each other through symbols and pictures. Numerolic bullshit that they keep fucking playing on us. Right? So, those people that sit there and say this is uh, King George III and better fucking, you know, verify your shit next time. But understand, that's a, that's a composer. All right, so we're going to keep it moving. That's a good discovery right there, buddy. So, then we say, uh, we go to this page, and it says, uh, Black and African nobility of ancient Europe. You know, so scroll down a little bit, and you start to see a couple of different things. Uh, amazing that his painting survived without being completely whitened, but in so many others. Okay, so this is King Richard II, and his painting has been whitewashed. Uh, go down here. It says, this is uh, King Stephen Boros III of Serbia. Now, again, um, you know, he is not what you are. You know, but again, um, he's, he's Edom. And you just don't respect it that way. Um, here we have, now this one is going to be very simple. We have Albert von Holster, what the fuck ever, Albert of Persia. Now we just showed you Black Persia, right? The first Duke, 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 Duke of. Come on, that's Edom. If you're watching this and you're saying Edom's white, you're fucking retarded. If you do not respect these images, then I don't understand what 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 you need. You go to museums to see these pictures. You pay you pay for high price books see these pictures this is King Philip of Spain if you look clearly that's Negro hair bronze statue of King Philip of Spain right we just already saw this as Lugwood right here we have the Portuguese right and this is said to be the king of sport Portugal right here <laughs> now today you have people that say they're Portuguese and they're fucking Caucasian right the real Portuguese is the Su Sueve, the tribe that came from yonder and attacked the Romans and defeated them. Here you see them fucking intermixing. Here's one carrying a person away. Here's actually two people carrying one of the people away. Now look at how all the black people, for the most part, are dressed in red. That was their thing, right? Now, you talk about the Moorish Empire, and they wore red fucking hats and shit like that. Well, here you have fucking red shirts. There's plenty of black people without red anything. But if you look, that's a white man, that's a white man, that's a white man, that's a white man, that's a white man. That's a white man. That's a white man. That, that, that. Those are all black right there. I counted those already. Black, white, white. Now, if you look, it seems like the black people are policing the white people to a degree. Except for this situation that's going on right here. See, he's got some kind of something that goes over his back and he's talking to these two and the guy's got his arms up. Like this to him. Right here, he's got his arms out to him. When you start to consider some shit, now this is weird because he looks like he's got a bucket on his head and he looks like he's got blood going everywhere or something. But, you know, that's, that's, that's weird in itself. But it looks like the white people have become the citizens and the black people are the royals and the police. Now, again, that is almost to a degree of what you have now, right? <laughs> This is Peter de Great. Okay. Uh, this is a, his story is an adoption of Peter de Great. It's a false story. Okay. So this is Abram, Abram Petrovich Ganibal of 1669. All right. St. Petersburg. So this is Russia. All right. Now, 
that is black men that used to rule Russia and they have overthrown them. Here you have black indigenous women, women of Europe. Okay. And this one is called Still Life with Peaches and Lemons. The presence of a woman suggests that the original title was quite difficult. Really? The title denotes that the original title uh, gave nobility to the character. They had to take that away. All right. Uh, as still life paintings do not normally include a human subject, unless the human subject is really the center of the attention. The look and quality of the woman's clothes suggest that she was not a servant. Hmm. Some kind of queen. And as we scroll down, we see a portrait called A Moorish Woman. Uh, Pablo, uh, her dress appearance indicates that she was probably a European woman. So again, she's a European woman. We already know that's Edom, but they're calling her a Moorish person. Okay, so now do you understand how the Moor and the Edom could be interchanged from time to time? And you're going to see it will be interchanged in a later date. Now, uh, I don't know why they show this person's image. Um, uh, now, here's a bust of an wearing a pearl necklace uh, made by Johannes uh, Groot. Uh, let's go down here. Here we go. Here's a clock, right? A portrait of a woman holding a clock. Now, come on, people. A portrait of a woman previously owned by the Italian painter. All right. Name of his in inventory as above is close up of a larger painting which has not been made available for public viewing. Oh, because this person's arm is the fucking black king, and that's the black queen, and that's the only fucking way they would have enough fucking finance to pour gold into a goddamn clock. Well, that fucking makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? We really don't want to release that image. Hmm. Upon acquisition by the Walters Art Museum for exhibition, the African presence room, the name of the painting has been changed to portrait of an African slave woman. Why would a slave woman be holding a goddamn sophisticated golden clock? Fuck you, fake Europe. Fuck you. Oh, yes. Oh, how can you fucking tolerate shit like that? And, oh, not the little hissy fit. Oh, that felt good. Is it attributed to Annabelle? Uh, let's see if this means anything. This name. Oh, I can't fucking highlight anything in this fucking thing. Are oh, you fucking. I don't want anybody taking any words from my stupid blog. Oh. You can highlight shit down here, uh, not where you need to. Uh, Anabal, that's a fucking unique name, right? And we already found out that he is a composer. He's not who we think he is or who we've been told he was. Oh, fuck, it. get the, the fuck out of here. Can't get to Google that way. Where were we, like right over there? All right, let's see. Mm-mm. Oh, it's a fucking painter. Oh, the f woman's name. That's great. That's great. Yeah, that turned out to be a garbage hunt. That turned out to be a garbage hunt. That's left on screen from the last one. Because we looked up uh, Prince Charlotte, Princess Charlotte, and she was queen of Mecklenburg and Straits, whatever. How that? All right, and they, they highlight where those places are. Okay, so it's there and there. All right, so and that's in the Russian area there, but yeah, Schweiz. So that would be Germany or something. North Sea, right? Denmark. Denmark, the Great Danes, Shui, 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 Din, 
Schweiden. And we don't even pronounce it to that. They, they can't pronounce it. Like Schweiden. They can't pronounce it how it's supposed to be pronounced. Now we call it Sweden. <laughs> That's so funny. Like what they've done. All the fucking evil they've done, man. Alright, so we're back at realhistory.com. This is Black Britain. And we were down here when we left off when they started showing all the Jesus pictures, right? We got through a few of these. We read a few through these. Uh, we read through a few of these. Uh, tongue twister, right? So we're just going to get our scroll on. We're already at 40 minutes uh, into the video. And we want to keep it moving. All right, so you can see here all these uh, icon of all the saints of the British Isles in Ireland. The Eastern Orthodox Church. St. Seraphim. Church, Little Walsingham, and Norfolk, England. So, all these images are of black saints, right? What do you know? They think their salvation is from black people that they've been oppressing. Isn't that weird? White supremacy, the heart of white supremacy is that black people that they've been oppressing is, it will, will, will free them. It will bring them salvation from, from their gods that they have freed and released to the earth. Right? And what do their gods say? Their gods say the only thing that can stop us are, these, are the children of God. You have to destroy the children of God. Right, right, right. Under the name Edom, right? Rome, under the name Edom, is compared to a boar, a symbolic name for a pig, a seer. Right? Black Britain. Black Britain is page three, so don't get crazy with it, right? If I go all the way up to the top, that's page one, right? Let's go back to the bottom where we were. We were like up a couple pages. Look at all this stuff we didn't see yet. Oh, that's where we were right there. Pew. So before we skip to page three, let's scroll down a little bit more because there's some exciting things there. There's the Drake Jewel, right? And then uh, there's two, right? So one of the rights of the Elizabethan court was giving the jewels to the queen, usually a mark of the new year and the occasional celebration by the queen of jewels and portrait miniatures to favored servants and defenders of the realm. After Drake circumnavigated the globe, went in a circle around the globe, right? Um, circum, circle, circumcision. Uh, he gave Elizabeth a composite jewel token made with rare uh, materials gathered from around the globe the ship, with an ebony hole enamel with gold. Uh, Elizabeth's gift to Sir Francis is similarly uh, indicative. One side of the lock is a portrait of the Queen by Nichols, Nicholas Hillard with a cover featuring on the interior, her avian emblem, the phoenix, a miniature portrait of the single most frequent gift given by the queen to persons she would reward. It projected her image as a monarch equipped with state clothes regalia and asserting a personal connection with the recipient as well as political relationship. On the other on other occasions, Queen First uh, Elizabeth I gave. Champion gave, excuse me, gave Drake a second miniature portrait in which she stood on the focus on the sunburst and used as a hat badge. That Drake, a commoner who rose to the position of state champion on the raid to Calders and vice admiral of the Armada. Also honored and mark extraordinary place, no, whatever. Which one is real? More fascinating, presumably, to drink on the other side of the uh, African male bust and uh, profile superimposed over the over the profile of a European. There is some debate whether the European is the regal woman or a Roman Briton of the sort William Camden is idealizing in his Britannia. Okay, oh, I see what they're talking about right here. 
it's the it's the Edomite, and then he's got a white bride right there, right? So that is what they're trying to show you there. Ah, there we go. Oh, there it is. He, they enslaved the Greeks. Well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, keep scrolling down here real quick. All right, so here you go. Look, they've got everything in here. Seashell. Fucking. I don't know. I just start saying names. Oh, there's topaz. There's uh, uh, skyline. I don't know what these stones are called. I'm a ignorant bastard from the city. Uh, doesn't sit around and stare at rock books. This reminds me of. Uh, look at this shit. Look at this shit. You can see. Look at that. That looks like a fucking U.S. general right there. And a Roman fucking leader behind it. And there's a Roman leader. And that looks like... See, I wonder if they're dying that with something. It looks like that's what they're doing. There's a way to dye that. And they're dying it to get it the color that they want. Now, now I'm curious about this. Candle holder purchased by Louis the, uh, the 14th in 1684 from a dealer. LeBron said to be a wedding gift from the state of Ven from the state of Venice to Henry uh, IV of France. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, so there's one. There's page two right there. So let's just go down here. See what we get. And we have fake portrait of black King Charles IV, supposedly after the original by Van Dyke. Fake portrait of Charles. All right, so if both of these are supposed to be Charles, why do both Caucasian Charles look different? You know, um, I don't want to go over the fakes. I want to see the real deal. So I think in page two, they're going to go over a lot of the fakes. Yeah, you just see a lot of fake shit. All right, so let's go over here to page three. All right, we just went over this. This is the dude from uh, from Russia, right? <clears throat> All right, so here is a thus Russian general. Ganibal is uh, des described as an African, right? Everybody's going to be described as African, obviously. Edom went to all these countries and, 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 and went into them, all right? But what do you say about Tsar Peter the Third? Is he an African too? So this is Tsar Peter the Third, all right? No, and you can clearly see he's not white. He's more like albino from the image, right? Duke Albert, okay? Dukes and Duchess. You can, if you do not know what the fuck I'm saying by Duke and Duchess, then clearly you don't want to read the Bible because Genesis covers what the fuck a Duke and a Duchess is. Right the fuck away. Right away. And, 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 and if you sit there and say, I read the Bible, but I don't know what a Duke is. Listen. This is why it's shameful to say you're the fucking chosen people and you don't know your own fucking word. That, that's that's got to be the downright insultiest thing ever. Why would the creator want you if you don't know the word? If you don't know his words, that means you don't know him. That's why I got mad in the last video. This dude, people want to fucking just make up. What the scripture is. They even want to make up what prophecy is. How are you going to leave our land? Um, it's your forefather's land. And you're not even willing to change the paperwork so you are titled by your forefather's name. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I'll get, it's, like, it's like your daddy is Jim Reeves, but you go by Dirk Diggler and you ain't going to change your last name to Reeves to, to accept the inheritance. You're a fucking idiot. You know, so you stay Dirk Diggler. And go find something to fuck because you ain't gonna be nothing more than a fucking dumb porno star. All right. Now, 
again, we we just seen half these images and shit, but uh, some of them we haven't, right? This was Valerian the Elder, Roman Emperor from 253 to 260. All right, and you you see his beard there, you see his Roman reef, right? And they're trying to show you these brothers the whole time, right? There's a young archer, right? A young soldier in the Holy Roman Empire, right? Rome, black, the boar. See, when I go to eat them, it don't fucking say, oh, we just call them a regular pig. What we're used to seeing, when you type in pig, you can see a black pig, you can see a white pig. But you're going to expect to see a fucking pink white pig. When we fucking sit there and say, boar, there's no, there's, there's, there's no discrepancy. We already know what a fucking boar is. Right? It's a, it's a dark pig. So, there's no question about that. Whether, whether you're going to play dumb, you're going to play coy, you're, you're going to, you know, understand today, but tomorrow you're not. This shit ain't gonna change no more. Those of you that are viewed, especially consistently, you have a very well-rounded view of what history really looks like. You honestly do, and you know it. And you know it. Come to think of it. Since we're talking about pigs in black and white, I want you to think about something. Yeah, I've been asking my buddy this all the time. Do you go to the fucking store and you say, Give me a sausage sandwich. Give me a sausage sandwich. Right? And pig is the other fucking white meat, right? Hmm? It's the other white meat. How come when you order pork, the patty's brown? Does that make any sense? How come the patty for pork looks just like the patty for hamburger? But hamburger, it doesn't go around calling itself white meat. So, you know, if you don't read the Bible, you don't respect the food laws, you think God loves you and that you're his special person next to Jesus, then think what you want. Because the scripture and these prophecies, they are not built off your opinion. They are not built off your emotion. They are not made for you to walk willy-nilly. They are very descriptive and you are ignoring them on purpose. So this is just a weird fucking image that I just don't even want to really touch. You know, I... I I don't know, maybe it's a style or something, but it is. these are just, I don't want to touch those. I like these statues because in these statues, you can see the nigga shit. All right. Uh, Black Holy Roman Empire, 800 AD. All right. For the third half of the century, the Pope is in, de uh, is in need of help from the Frankish king, all right? This is not the people of France. The real people of France have been overthrown when they say Frankish, that is the Franks. That is the tribe of uh, barbarians. That is one of the 10 tribes of barbarians. After being physically attacked by his enemies in the streets of Rome, their stated intentions is to blind him, cut out his tongue, and to make him incapable of office. Leo III makes his way through the Alps to visit Charlemagne, Charlemagne at Pad, Paderborn. It is not known what is agreed, but Charlemagne travels to Rome in 800 to support the Pope. In a ceremony in St. Peter's, 
on Christmas Day, Leo is due to anoint Charlemagne's son as his heir. But unexpectedly, it is maintained, as Charlemagne rises from prayer, the Pope places the crown on Charlemagne's head and acclaims him emperor. Now, you know what that fucking means. They sat there and said, we're going to fucking name Charlemagne's son as a succeeder, so the bar bar barbarians would stay cool. And then during the act of the ceremony, they already knew that they were going to fucking name Charlemagne. And when they did that, they had the power of the people and everything else, which would stop the barbarians. All right, uh, might as well go a little further. Here's Edith of England and Otto. Edith and Otto. Here's Germany and Roman Emperor is connect, uh, Empire is connected to Germany. Later, the Roman Empire is down here in the Papal States. Yeah, Byzantine Empire, Men, Uel, Manuel, the first, Comnenos, and his second wife, Maria of Antioch. Okay, so when you look up Antioch, and Antioch Epiphanes is going against Judas, this is what the Antioch people look like. Right? All right. So again, there's a story being told all the way through this. You know, if you want to take your time and read it, you know, I, I definitely encourage you to. Reading is going to help you. You know, um, but if you just take this as just some picture viewing event, you know, uh, you know, you'll have to deal with that with your own mind. We've go, we've gone to these places many times. We've 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 seen a lot of these. We've we've read a few of these. You know, and so like they said, now watch all these uh, black kings turn to albino kings and queens. You know, so I think we're gonna go ahead and stop there. Now again, at this point, the white cross becomes the red cross. Right, turn everything upside down. All right, I'm good on the rest of this. This is going to go, uh, this is going to show uh, the barbarians as kings now. All right, so.